What's going on, buddy? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another super special episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! I've waited so long to say that. It feels so good to say it. Uh, last episode, we found out what, what was happening to everybody, why they're turning into trees. It's because the forest spirit is angry. And uh, we also made to clean the forest. Of course, there's a drone bee right here we gotta take care of right off the bat. Um, so this is a new recording session. Super excited to continue playing this. Oh, really? I didn't kill him? Well, at least we got, like, first strike on him. Look at the background here. Oh, man. There's a lot of, like, unique backgrounds in this, and it looks really cool. Oh, Sacred Feather <laughs> effects are wrong. I forgot about that. Uh, so here's the forest. Run around here. Uh, as you can see, all these trees being cut down. At least, at the very- Oh, sneak attack. At the very least, it appears that, um... Not, uh, they were clear-cutting this forest. At least they, didn't, they don't appear to be. Where they cut down every single tree in sight. Uh, Garrison level 6 guard, a master of the guard's flame wall. Maximum HP up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 4, you got 20 coins, and an elixir. Excellent. Excellent. Um, so yeah, that would be nice. They got rid of these freaking stumps though. So we got a bit of an impasse here. All these stumps are just, just happen to be in the way here. Uh, have, we, have we talked about rat warriors and rats? I believe we have, right? Yes, we have. There are more new enemies in here that I will be going over once we find them. Have we tried Earthquake yet? Have we tried Spire yet? I don't think we tried Spire. We also got uh, Flare Wall, so let's try that out. As you can actually probably tell, it's a uh, attack with Searing Flames instead of Flaring Flames. <clears throat> Seems kind of counterintuitive to say Flaring Flames, or Flaring Flames for the first one. So as you can see, this does the same range, uh, but it takes 7 PP, and it'll do more damage. I've installed this Ray and Whirlwind here. Hopefully, we'll get some upgrades there soon. <coughs> Spoiler alert! Not really. That's Spire. I did not read the thing. I don't know if I've shown you guys that. I feel like when I got that, this new recording session, like recording like a week later. So, of course, I forget things. You can actually move these logs if you push them. That log's probably just a tutorial log. <laughs> if you come take a look over here, though. You can push this log out of the way. I guess that's also kind of tutorial log, so you need to push it to be able to get here. And as you can imagine, it's probably forward. Will Heads and Skellingtons. I believe we fought all these lads before. Have we seen Ramses, though? I don't think we have. Let's just use a bunch of gin here. Have we seen Jupiter as well? We probably saw Jupiter, right? We can use Granite just for the sake of... Well, if actually we haven't used Granite yet. Protective R encircles Isaac, uh, Garen, Ivan. That's the first strike move. There's Jupiter. Um, where 50% uh, of all damage would be reduced that we get hit with. Poison increases attack. <laughs> three damage, adorable three damage. I was <laughs> Mystic Flame. Mystic Flame. So I did uh, practice this a bunch. Guardian of Immortal Pharaoh. I feel like we might have seen this, but just in case we haven't, there it is. All I already is. And I feel like I should probably defend with you. Let's just defend, just because he's gonna go first. I don't want him. I don't want this to be outshone. So here's Rams. We've probably seen this happen. Well, we can still show. Once you have actually, you can actually skip these cutscenes. It's really nice. They actually do a lot to like make sure you're not in battles for too long. I'm kind of drowning it or dragging it out a little more than I usually would. There we go. Should kill him. Ooh, kill him. I don't level up. Hey, I don't know. I expected a level there. Pushing these logs. The very parents. I know, that's a very important. I thought there was a nut. So I, I have been like I've been saying earlier. I have actually been playing through um, the game. I do have a practice file for the first time in a very long time. Trump bees, man. There's a lot of new enemies here. I don't know why no one's showing up. Uh, have you seen earthquake? Attack with a mighty tremor. Also the upgrade to quake, as you would probably imagine. I think that's probably it for things we haven't seen so far, though. Also, people getting a little low in health. I gotta keep an eye, especially on Ivan. There, Ivan is super easy to kill. He has very low health. Uh, the thing that kind of sucks, the reason why I have been playing, like, uh, ahead is mostly just so I could figure out, uh, get a general overview of who I should mind reading and who I shouldn't, simply because I do not want to spend, you know, entire episodes, while I am going to talk to everyone, I'm not going to mind read everyone just because that would take forever, um, at least in the larger towns, not so much in the smaller towns, so I've been checking that out, but the downside is I kind of, any puzzle I kind of forget about, I immediately, like, figure it out. Around here, just because, like, you know, I literally just I beat this uh, dungeon like probably an hour ago <laughs> on my other file. Thing is, I've been running through stuff very quickly, so I don't know if that's any. It's bad. It really sucks because we keep like running into like a bunch of enemies at the same time. 
So I want to attack him for mostly for the coins because we are hurting on coins quite a bit. Experience. I mean, you could always use experience to levels up, level up as well. The thing is, it's like I don't. It's hard to cut these battles out versus Pokemon because there's a large like area in which. Ooh, I gotta heal you. There's a large area in which I can cut out a Poke Battle, but here it's like if I'm in the middle of saying anything, chances are I'm gonna end up going into battle and uh, miss my opportunity to cut unless I cut in the middle of the battle, which I guess is okay. It just. Just it, it just hurts my professional mind, which isn't professional at all. God damn, see, it's like right there. Should I just stop talking in the middle of my sentence? Maybe we could just flee. I was like, I was like, my mind was like, should I flee? What do I do? Thankfully, this place isn't too big. So you can see over here, this bridge has collapsed. Who knows how long this forest has fallen into disarray? Is it getting? It seems kind of like Twilighty out, doesn't it? Twilight is my favorite movie of all time and book series. Spoiler alert. So push that back. We can run around here. If you push that log down, you won't. Well, actually, you'd be able to push it down there and then push it up back through that way. But we didn't do that, so. Ooh, wait, is there a way to get around now? Uh oh. Okay, good, there is. Phew! That was a close one! Okay, so I think actually there are certain enemies we don't see outside here. Um, the Rat Warriors, the Drone Bees, which Drone Bees is the only new guy, I suppose. Um, there's Rats, there's Rat Warriors, Drone Bees, I think that's all I've seen, right? And, uh, this right here, this is a puzzle room. Um, what that means is that it's, uh, we, we have no enemy encounters in here, which is freaking awesome. So I'm trying to run up here, can't go through here. Hey, I'm so close to step over the damn stump, Isaac! We have a bridge here we can cross. Ah, oh, so close, the stupid stump in the way, the stupid symmetrical stump. There's also a chest we were going to want. Oh, I always thought this is a really cool effect, what we're about to do here. You can probably figure it out, judging by the staircase and all this junk. Uh, if you come over here and read this sign. Do not touch, do not touch the child, do not touch the floodgate switch. So let's flip it. And flip the switch. Hey, <laughs> we're bad people. There's definitely some stupid graphics of it. Of the water disappearing. It's supposed to look like it's flowing, but no, it just disappears. Wow, we're so close to getting that chest. So, uh, this puzzle is actually super easy to solve if you don't care about the chest. If you don't care about the chest, which actually has a nice piece of, uh, something, something, all you gotta do is push this log to the left, and then you can raise it, and then you'll be able to jump across. However, can we, actually, I guess I can show that. So, yeah, that's all you gotta do, and then you just put the water back, and then you're, you're, it's all good in the hood. What we're gonna do, though, we wanna, we're gonna want to get that chest. There's a stump here, which tells us we could probably push a lock here. All the logs are very, you know, suspiciously placed. Suspiciously placed. So we'll push those up there. Push this little pupper this way. And there we go. So that's. Uh, uh, can I push that one down? I think I can. So then we want to make a path to that by pushing that down first. And hopefully, hopefully this other log will slide past it. I sure hope so. If not, it should so. Okay, good, it does. Whew. Cool, so now that we use that log to uh, have little placeholders to stop logs from rolling, we should push it back, and there we go, that's our bridge. Victory is mine! <laughs> Still a pretty simple puzzle. But, uh, you know, what's there? This is definitely worth it to grab. Isaac, flip the switch. <laughs> Funny how all the logs are off screen too, so you can't see them like how they would lift. You just know they teleport up there. So now I can run back this way. Very simply. We got the chairs! We got the fur coats! I just gave the fur coat to Garrett's. Which uh, sounds very warm. It's like something I don't want to wear right now. So, uh, resists water. Um, so we could give it to Ivan, who's hurting the most on defense. I think we're actually gonna keep it on Garrett. Simply because Garrett is uh, highly effective against water, resistance plus 20 to water. Um, since Garrett is very weak to water, he's going to be the weakest adept to water in the entire game. That's why we're going to want to equip it to him. So we could anything that has water spells, what water synergy I should say, uh, won't hurt Garrett as much. So you could lower the water and um, and really manually put the puzzle back to where it was, or you could just leave the area and come back. That's much quicker. So we're just going to do that. Even though, you know, it is a little bit weird. It's weird. Well, I guess it's just more of a memory thing that games do this, where it's like puzzles reset. 
So it always kind of took me out of it though that everything resets whenever you leave a town. Oh, what, all, what else ever takes me out of games? Which is just stupid nit nitpicky. I hate like when in games when you talk to like villagers and they say the same things over and over again. And I know there is no way. I mean, there is a way to prevent that, but it would take a crazy amount of um, progress. No, a crazy amount of like work to make it so villagers never repeat, or at least not never repeat, but like very, very, very rarely repeat the same lines of text. And of course, if you want to go back and just push this that way. There we go. Right, let's move on. And just like that, we've actually... Well, well, never mind. Whoa, no way! So this is a troll. Um, he's level 7, he has 101 HP, so all HP. <laughs> uh, he drops 34 gold, 30 experience. Uh, you have nothing. I don't like you going to Garrett's Jin. He doesn't have a gosh dang thing. He's Brute Force, which does normal, or normal attack damage. Normal plus 20 attack damage. Wow, normal plus 22, sorry. Um... He has a 3.125% chance to drop a nut. Uh, interestingly enough, this is the only monster in the entire Golden Sun series. Normal monster, that is. He's got 36 experience. I have not level 7. He's the only monster in the Golden Sun series besides, like, maybe later bosses that recovers the HP every turn. Because trolls heal and stuff. Uh, Ivan is now level 7 Windseer, maximum HP by 7, PP by 3, attack by 3, defense by 2, agility by 4, you got 34 coins, there we go. Good job Ivan, I'm proud of you. Who are you? That's it? Oh. Oh, you're the ones who resisted Tritt's glamour. I sense a great warmth within you. If you came to rescue Tret, you are already too late. Soon, Tret will die, and we shall wither away without him. Leave now before this forest is destroyed. There's one of the uh, forest guardians here. If we uh, put Mind Read to our spell list here, and Mind Read her, healing waters of Mercury Lighthouse might save Tret. But the Found's waters have long since dried up. How would you know that for one and for two? Mercury Lighthouse, hey? Whoa, no way! Look at that! There's an arrow above her pointing towards her head. Do you see that? Like, the arrow ends right above where her head starts. I never noticed that before, and maybe I'm just like, maybe it's like seeing faces in the clouds. And if we go over here, though... <gasps> he will not speak to you, child. I control all in Tret's realm. Thank you. Okay, Myriam. And just says the same thing. Poor Tret. However, if you climb inside of his skull, which there is no arrow above Tret's head, I can see anyways. Actually, I think I saw some a little bit in there. And yeah, there's, there's a second part of this dungeon. I actually consider this a different dungeon, to be honest, compared to like going through Kalima Forest. Um, this is inside Tret's tree. I actually really like this dungeon. I really like how this is all uh, just inside of him. So this is a spider. Uh, he's level 8. He has 69 X HP. Um... What do we have here? Oh, this is Venus, okay. I'm your Venus! I'm your Zena! Uh, he has- he's level 8, 69 health, uh, 30, drops 32 gold, 25 experience. He has a 6.25% chance to drop an antidote. Uh, he had- he could use, a uh, spider web, which drops your defense by 25 on one person. Oh, Isaac level 7, maximum HP up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 4, defense by 2, agility by 4, 32 coins, and an antidote. Look at that! Oh, that's 6.25% chance going on. I got like, if you watch carefully, the inside of the tree glows a little bit. In certain spots, like where I'm standing right now, this like lighter part, it glows a little bit. And I don't really know why. As you can see, there's actually a little hole in the middle there. Interesting. Is that the disease? Is that the disease killing him? The cool thing about this is you have a very limited line of sights. You can run around the tree branches here. The, <laughs> the thing that kind of ruins it a little bit is when you get into battle there, as you can see, as you probably saw, there is a chance of it, um... Oh, no, no, chance. There, there, it, it'll show you... It, it'll show you... It, it'll show you what it looks like around you. So, uh, if you saw, there's actually nothing on top of the other branch there, so we're not gonna bother running up there. Ain't a day, spiders! Another antidote. Yeah, there's nothing up that branch, so we don't bother. Do we see down here, though? Shit. Okay, good. There's nothing there. Ooh! <laughs> Uh, ooh, wow, these are the other two. Yeah, these are the only two monsters we haven't fought yet. So, um, you might be thinking, that's just a ghost. It's one of the many re sprites that we're going to see in this game. So, that, yeah, it's a creeper. 
Uh, he's level 8, has 89 health, um, drops 30, 38 gold and 32 experience points. Shades use Gust. Uh, he has a 3.125% chance to drop a Weasel's Claw, which more on that whenever we get one. Oh, the Gnome ran. Oh, no. Uh, he also has a chance to use Frost and Douse, which are both water-based moves. Garrett is level 7 guard. Uh, HP up by 8, PP by 3, attack by 3, defense by 1, jelly by 3. <laughs> I swear, the farther we go into this game, it'll take longer to level up, I promise. Set those. Uh, how are we doing on health? Alright. Isaac's at 98, but that's still pretty okay. So see all these, I guess these are leaves, but I always thought they look like nuts. I was always confused, and then you see they'll crumble as you walk on them, so if you walk back on them, you'll fall through. I will not showcase that right now, though, since we will be doing that a little bit later when we're kind of forced to do it. Look at the sky behind us. I saw like a cloud up there, dang it. Gosh darn it. There was like a cloud above us that was moving. <laughs> I'm so amazed. The Game Boy advancements are crazy. Unbeweavable. The drops. So yeah, that's everything that I could find in here. Um, as you can see, we could also see these. Oh yeah, there we go. Numbing sting. It paralyzed Garrett. Uh, the paralyzation is actually the same uh, animation, same sprite, I guess, as uh, as death. <laughs> So that, that's a thing. This actually threw me up when I tried this dungeon earlier. I did not see this vine. These vines are very sneaky. Not really, but they really they really messed my mind up. Rope level in the tree. So as you can imagine, we're trying to climb up the tree. There's a spider there. I think that's a spider. It always kind of grossed me out a little bit. I don't know. I don't. These spiders don't gross me out because they're, they're kind of cute, you know? They're giants, which would actually terrify me in real life. There you go. The spider uses a spider web. Defense drops by nine. We didn't go for the gnome, did we? No, we didn't. I'm wait. I'm gonna wait to see another gnome before we go over. Even though we saw him, I'm gonna wait a little longer here. Uh, useless branch, useless hole in the tree. But it's really cool. I mean, what other game do you do you ever explore a tree dungeon? Oh god, dang it! I'm out of time. Dang it! I wonder if this is actually inspired off that. I would not be surprised. So there's a synergy stone up there. Um, I'm not gonna grab it because I'm pretty okay. As you can see, Isaac's just down to 36 PP. So this is where you actually get a chance here. You can either go up to get progress on the dungeon, or you can jump left to get this treasure chest. Uh, it's not a jeep chest. It's surprising it doesn't have an herb. It has a healing ring, which uh, this is actually something I kind of forgot about. So if you hold R here, you'll see you have a weapon slot, a head slot, a shield slot, and a chest slot. But additionally, you can also wear a ring, although there's not really a point to wearing the rings most of the time. Um, uh, details might break. So if you remember, as uh, one of the options when we go to like a smith, like a sword shop or um, shield shop, defense shop, uh, one of the options is repair, so that's what this could be used. It could be used in battle. Wait. It might break if used in battle? Really? Interesting. So yeah, the effect, uh, used to restore 70 uh, HP, which is pretty good. We're gonna equip it. There's really not reason, there's not a reason to do that. Oops. Whoa. I did not mean to do that. Uh, can we see that? No, we can't see that cup to gear. Interesting. So, the reason why I was saying before the, with the leaves, if we jump back on it, we fall through the speed of him. The speed of him. And we immediately get into battle. Ah, it's all for a gnome. <laughs> when the battle opens up, you know, immediately see your attack. It's like, oh, it's a short guy. Oh, it's a short guy. Dang it, really? We can't kill him yet? I thought for sure just a normal attack would be good. So, yeah, that's, that's the default. Normally, for me, I used to be very synergy heavy the very first time I played this one as much younger. But attacking is actually a pretty decent way to... Th it's really cool because there's a lot of like good methods to fight. Like using Jin is a really good method. Summons are obviously a very good method. Synergy is obviously a great method. However, you know, we have synergy points. So that's a little bit of a drawback. But it's still good because like it hits a bunch of multiple enemies. Um, you can use it a lot more... It's a lot more... You use it a lot more times than using like summons for example. Since you know you only have a set amount of Jin and they take a while to recover. However, you could like use synergy a lot more. So if you go back this way, see so we can lead back to this room. Let's avoid that gross spider. Alright, climb up this fine, which I also missed. Dang it. <laughs> Jaws also missed the first time I play. I, I always figured I'd have to climb more. Dang it! Ah, here we go. Here's the more gnomes. That hopefully won't run away this time. Uh, let's use Sijin. No. Once again, one day I'll remember. No, we'll use the Ghost. So gnomes, they're level 8, they have 85 uh, health, they, they drop 40 gold, and 29 experience, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping an oil drop, um, they also have 
a flare, they have guard. Okay, that was the creep out custom. I was like, wait a minute, my notes are wrong. Uh, the flare, they can cast guard, which um, gives grants them 25% extra de or defense, sorry. Uh, they have bolts, which is a synergy we haven't seen yet, I don't believe. We should take care of them. And they also have a chance to flee, which we, we, which we saw last time. Oops. We tried to uh, fight him. Uh, just actually normally attack with here. He's running a little bit low in synergy. We want to watch our faces with that. And that should do it, right? Yeah. And level up. Nope. <laughs> I guess level up after I knew they were going to level up. So we can either go left or right, or left or down. For the past 20 minutes, you're so we're gonna call an episode in a moment. Oh no, we can go up. Okay, we don't want to go this way yet. Uh, just flee. Sometimes it's best to run away when you get annoyed. Okay, so it looks like that's the correct way to go. So let's try going down here, which I didn't actually show there was a way down here, but there totally is. Hi, there's. Ah, oh, dang it. No escape. I think it's a 50 50 chance of escaping or not. I could be wrong, but that's what it. Often feels like, <laughs> uh, it often feels like it's much less than that, though. When crap like that happens. Uh, it only took me three, two. Tri Whoa, wait, what? Whoa, that was weird. I hit right and I went up for some reason. Up here, however, I don't. Oh, this might be the way forward, actually. Oh, crappers. Ah, oh, poopies. Ah, oh, poopy soupies. Flee. Yes. Sometimes you just don't want to fight, you know. Uh, nothing on this branch. However, if we go up here, <gasps> I got shy. All right, fine. Geez, stop following me around. Okay, I'm gonna put a restraining order on you. You. Uh, definitely gonna take at least two rounds to kill these guys. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna start closing out the episode here. Actually, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, there we saw actually right there, the troll will cover 10 HP. That was a noise. Oh, here we go. Have you seen this yet? Uh, that's the witch rod? Oh, no, Merc. There we go. And I put him to sleep as well. Cool. We got to see the effect. How fitting that a uh, troll is put to sleep. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Golden Sun. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the next one, we'll talk to this genie, see what he has to say to us as he looks left and right. Oh, me? And then we'll also continue to explore Tret's tree, his dawn tree. I don't think trees should be this hollow. And uh, hopefully find out what's wrong with them. So I'll talk to you guys next time, and goodbye.